Hi and welcome back to Bike Speed. So this week we're going to service this giant propel. With this one we're going to re-wax the chain, we're going to replace the rear brake cable because it was super corroded up there and we're going to do a few details and bring this bike back up to spec. So as you can see there's a lot of corrosion down this centre section. Front derailleur was a little bit corroded. The rear brake here you can see all up the top there is quite corroded. But as you can see this chain itself is in good condition. The bike itself is in immaculate condition but it has got wet at some point through the winter and we're going to address those issues that come along with that. So first problem we've got as you can see here is the brake caliper is not releasing from the cable guide there. The cable guide has actually come into two parts and it should be one part and so we've got an issue there with the brake and this adjuster here, the thumb adjuster is completely corroded up. So we need to get all this off and address these issues, replace the cable and sort this rear brake out. This is sort of the primary importance of this service. So we'll get the bike apart as we do with any other service. So off comes the cassette. As you can see here, this bike's actually already had a wax chain on it. So that's quite good in that it doesn't build up grease and oil on the drivetrain itself. So we're going to re-clean this up. We'll get this through the ultrasonic cleaner. You can actually put that in boiling water to get the wax off. But in this instance, we decided to ultrasonic clean everything on the bike. So we're taking all the parts off and this is a good reason why you should have a bike service. You can see here I've got a rear derailleur hanger that is slightly loose so I'm going to address that issue as I rebuild the bike. Rear derailleur is not that dirty, again there's just a little bit of wax build up on that so we'll clean that off and then this will be ready for the new wax chain. Front derailleur you can see is quite corroded as well, there's a lot of surface rust on there, quite dry on the pivot point so we'll clean that off and re-lubricate that, get that corrosion off and that will be good to to move forward with the bike so we'll also get the chain set off of this one so we can really clean everything up nicely and then also this rear brake it's most important that we actually get that all sorted out those little problems and we'll also do the front brake which is what I'm taking off here so we'll take the calipers off the front clean those up try to prevent that corrosion happening again then we take the derailleur apart for cleaning so once we've decided what parts we're going to actually clean in the ultrasonic cleaner they pop into there they go in there for 15 minutes and they're ultrasonically cleaned and then we'll wash those parts off which is what I'm doing here with the front derailleur and also those brake calipers so we'll wash all those parts off we're using one of our nylon detailing brushes there with some warm soapy water just to wash off that degreaser and wash those parts down and then I'll dry those off with a microfiber towel before we go to the lubricating process and again as you can see here we're just using a scrubbing brush on the rear cassette it's quite an easy way of doing it really at ultrasonic level most of the dirt is off of that you're literally just rinsing off the degreaser and the chain set itself we just washed that down as well this we didn't put through the ultrasonic cleaner but that lovely chain that had very little stretch in it we just dry that off and clean that off as well next we clean the jockey wheels these have bearings so they don't go through the ultrasonic cleaner we actually use wax polish on these to remove the residue from the last chain waxing so now the entire drivetrain is completely ready for the re-wax chain and now we're going to start getting these components back together, re-lubricated, ready to go on the bike. So we'll start off with the rear derailleur here where we put the jockey wheels in. There's two jockey wheel types, there's the tension jockey wheel and the guide jockey wheel. So I make sure I get them the right way around as I put them together. And things like the thumb adjuster here, lubricating that. A little bit of copper slip on the threads, general purpose grease on the main adjuster itself. Nice thin oil on the pivot points of the derailleur and a little bit of our premium grease there on the spring just to stop that going rusty same with the front derailleur pivot points with a nice thin oil premium grease on the spring to stop it going rusty and that's ready to go back on we also with our servicing lubricate the skewers as well because they can bind and stick inside the wheel so it just helps those so it's all the same principles now we're going to address this rear brake caliper so you can see here the guide is seized inside the caliper itself so we're just going to remove that when we re-grease these, I even greased like the springs there and the pivot points here just to make sure this was well lubricated so that it didn't corrode moving forward if the bike got wet again, that there's plenty of protection on there, plenty of lubrication just to make sure that these will continue to actuate correctly and actually operate correctly and that we'll be able to use those. They're actually like a quick release caliper so as you can release them off the bike to sort out a puncture but in this instance you do had a nightmare on the side of the road if you had have got a puncture with this bike as it was. So with the thumb adjuster here, I'm even putting a new tube in there just to make sure that the cable will guide through it nicely. And then we'll also just put the new end back on there so that's ready to go back on the bike and operating as it should, ready for the quick release aspect of the brake. 
Next up, we're going to wax the chain. So this is an immersion wax. So we put that in there. You can see those bubbles. That's the air coming out of the rollers within the chain itself. It's a lovely way of waxing a chain and lubricating a chain dry so that you get none of that dirt and debris onto your drive train that you do with the oils and greases. This is the season for wax chains now in the UK with the spring and summer. It's just a lovely way of riding bikes without them getting too dirty, never mind the wattage savings and things. So I don't know if you ride a wax chain or what your thoughts are on wax chains. It may vary in different parts of the world. I find that a wax chain just keeps your drive train itself lovely and clean and they're a little bit more maintenance maybe than an oil chain but I love them so drop a comment in the comments below about your theories and thoughts on chain waxing. Now we're just going to wash this frame down. So we're using our big softy brush here. This is our lovely nylon bristle brush just to wash this one down. This bike didn't really need polishing. It was in pretty good condition when it came in. It had just had that wet stage in the winter and a couple of bits just needed addressing with the service. So we dry this down now with a microfiber towel and then we're ready to just wash down the wheels. I like to wash the wheels down. You can just feel them, check all the spokes, check the rim just to make sure there's no damage and just to make sure everything's spot on there. We sell a lot of these odds and ends that we're using in the video on our website. So the greases and the big softy brush and the cables and things that we're using. So do check out our website. The link is in the description for that. Maybe there's something there that you can help support us with by buying. Now we're just going to get the bottom bracket back in. So we're just using our premium grease there just to lubricate the bearing itself, just to help this slide back in. So this is now the aspect of the rebuild of the bike. I always finish the chain set and front derailleur so I'll talk that as I go so I get everything set up in the correct position talk everything up get the cable back on I even talk the pinch bolt on the cable itself and also the mount just to make sure that everything's sitting in its final position we're just going to address this rear derailleur hanger there that was a little bit loose get the rear derailleur on and now we can really start the rebuild process in full so on goes the rear derailleur so we've now got the drivetrain back on and we're just going to address this rear brake cable. You can see there it was corroded in the frame as well. The cable was a little bit corroded. So we'll get that out. I'm using the cable guide just to help my re-entry of a new cable. So I'll put a cable guide in as I remove the old one. Pop in the new cable in through my cable guide. And then we can feather that through the frame quite easily then. And remove the guides that I've put in. And then refit the cable back into a new outer there. So these are our super slick cables. They're a lovely tightly wound stainless steel cable, slightly tighter wound than a standard cable, which makes them very smooth to the touch. Makes a lovely shift or break in actuation. So they're our super slick cables that we're using. Once again, you can buy these cables on our website. So we get the rear caliper back on, front caliper back on. Again, we've treated this the same as we did back in that we've well lubricated it, cleaned it all up, made sure it's all actuating correctly, even greased this little adjuster and cable guide so that it can be removed on the road when he gets a puncture and needs to remove his wheels and tires we can get the wheels back on clip off the cable new end on there these actually turn on themselves and fit in the caliper that you saw just there and then on goes our lovely wax chain back onto the bike and we can now begin to adjust the gears just to make sure everything's spot on so a little bit of thumb adjuster on the rear derailleur there that's now shifting gears nicely up and down the cassette so we're quite happy there check the front derailleur which didn't need a lot of adjusting because we literally just took it off and put it back on the bike. We also just adjust and check the brakes. So once we've adjusted them, we'll just check that they're actuating correctly and squarely to the wheel, which is what we just did there. And then we'll just run through the bike with a torque wrench. We'll literally go front to back. We have a set routine for our torquing process. So we check the entire cockpit of the bike. So the brakes, the stems, the aero bars in this instant, front brakes make sure everything is spot on all the pinch bolts all the brake pads all the mounts pedals saddle seat post we really do run through the entire bike when we service a bike just to make sure that everything on it is absolutely spot on then we know that this bike is not going to vibrate loose that everything is at the correct torque the correct specification so nothing's over tightened nothing's under tightened we even do things like just check bot cages just to make sure everything's spot on. I do like the bikes to be ready to ride when they go out, so I'll just inflate the tires as we're doing here, just to make sure that they're ready to go. And we just had a couple of details to do on this bike. We had this scuff on the front here, so we're just gonna use one of our vinyl stickers 
to protect that and stop that getting any worse. So we sell these as well. We do an A4 sheet in various different colors. We peel one of those off and tuck that on the frame there just to protect that. And then the final detail for us was this aero bars here. I've got quite a lot of tape on the front there. Just weren't very neat. And that's something you're staring at because that's right where your head is. So we tidy up those ends there. And it's those details that we just like to finish our bikes off when we service them. So as you can see, we made a huge difference to this bike very subtle on this one the bike was in great condition when it came in but it's in superb condition now that it's finished everything is sorted out all the little problems ironed out especially with that rear brake a few little details along the way so i hope you've enjoyed this service do like do subscribe drop a comment and we'll see you again next week bye for now